Hi guys, welcome to the 51st video of the Love Bubber 450 question series. So I've taken some time out from my online class and we will be solving a couple of problems. If you have not watched a single playlist, please go and watch. We have done arrays, searching, sorting, matrix, link, I mean, strings, link list we are doing now. Please like the video, share it with all your friends and please subscribe. It will really motivate me. Okay. So let's get started with today's video then. So today's video's first problem is find pairs with a given sum in a doubly linked list. So yesterday I was, I mean, yesterday we had seen a double, uh, doubly linked list problem. So I think yesterday's last problem, I did it in a little hurry. So let me just brief to you, what is a doubly linked list if you don't know? So doubly linked list is nothing but a linked list wherein there is bi-directional movement, you know. You can traverse in this manner also and you can traverse in this manner also. So when we define a linked list, we say data. The node will have a data. The node will have next pointer. But in a doubly linked list, the node will have a previous pointer also. So at a particular node, you can go to the previous node also. So that is what I wanted to tell you. Okay, so this is basically what a doubly linked list is. Now, what is our problem statement? Our problem statement is a sorted doubly linked list is given and we have to find pairs which sum, whose sum is equal to uh, x. Have we done this kind of a problem before? This looks a little similar, right? This is, I think we have done this kind of a problem in arrays. If you closely see, what is this? This is, what is the question? Find the sum. Not find the sum. Find the pairs whose sum is x, right? So we have actually done this question in arrays. This is based on two pointer approach, you know, based on two pointer approach. We don't have to sort because the doubly linked list is already sorted. Otherwise we would have to sort the array. Like in arrays, when we were doing, we first sorted the array and then applied a two pointer concept to get the pairs whose sum is X. But in doubly linked list, because it is already sorted, we just have to apply two pointer concept. Now, what was this two pointer concept? Let us revisit the two pointer concept in the arrays. So in arrays, the two pointer concept was very simple actually. If this is a sorted array, okay, just imagine, we will keep one pointer, let us say it is I, and we will keep another pointer, let us say it is J. Now, what we will do, we will check if A of I, is equal to, I mean, A of I plus A of J is equal to X. So we will check if A of I plus A of J is equal to X. Then what we will do, we will move I by one step and we will decrease J by one. And we will increment count. So this is what we were doing. And what were the other conditions? What if A of I plus A of J is greater than X? If A of I plus A of J is greater than X, this is a sorted, this is a sorted array. So if A of I plus A of J is greater than X, then we have to only move J pointer and not I. So in that case, we will do J minus minus. And in the last case, when A of I plus A of J is less than X, if this is less than X, then we will not do J minus minus, we will do I plus plus. So this was the two pointer approach, right? This was the two pointer approach. I hope you have understood the two pointer approach. I mean, you have got a revision of what it is, but how to apply this in this doubly linked list? What is the use of doubly linked list? As I said that in a doubly linked list, you can traverse in both the directions. You can go forward as well as come backward, right? This is going to help us because in two pointer, what we are doing, we are going forward as well as backward according to the condition. 
according to a of i plus a of j we were going forward and backward right so here also instead of variables we will take pointers we will take like front pointer and back pointer whatever so we will be just dealing with pointers see in a doubly linked list we can traverse in both the directions so that is why we will be using it so for example if this is the doubly linked list what should we do first we should take a pointer called front and front will be here we should traverse through the doubly linked list and we should reach the last node and say back this is back pointer now front will traverse in the front direction whereas back will traverse in the back direction so back will be going previous previous front will be going next next so this is how we implement let us look at the code i mean this is the algorithm sorry we will look at the implementation of the algorithm now so first of all we will have a head node this is a global variable then we will need two nodes one will be front pointer which will be pointing on head and we will need a uh, another pointer called back and we have to find the last node now so we have to traverse through the linked list to find the last node so how to do that so we will say while back next not equal to null so while back next not equal to null we will just traverse through the linked list okay so now we have front pointer as well as back pointer and now we have to write the two pointer uh, this thing while loop how to write the two pointer while loop so here instead of variables i and j there are pointers front and back so some corner test cases also we should consider when there is no list only when there is only one node all those things so i will quickly write those it is nothing great so we just say while front and back and moreover front not equal to back this is the two pointed thing right we say while i not equal to j while i less than j whatever so in two pointer approach i is 0 j is n minus 1 and we keep doing that right so we say while i not equal to j over here while front not equal to back front is corresponding to i pointer back is corresponding to j pointer if you have not watched the two pointer video in arrays go and check out the playlist some question i have done similar kind of thing front not equal to back and also uh back next not equal to null and now we have to write the condition if uh, front data plus back data equal to x then we say count plus plus and what we have to do we have to move front to the next and where should back go back should go to previous so back equal to back previous otherwise what are the other conditions else if front data plus back data is greater than x if it is greater than x x we have to move the back pointer to the previous one this is equivalent to j minus minus otherwise we have to do what front equal to front next this is equivalent to i plus plus so we will just need a count variable 
this is the code okay so this is globally declared so what is the linked list the linked list is something like struct node int data node next and uh, node previous so it's something like this there is a global variable head front pointer back pointer we have got because we are doing two pointer approach and we finally get the answer and just you have to print count the reason why i did this problem a little slowly is because see this problem we solved now look at the next problem it is nothing but count triplets in a sorted doubly linked list so how to do this problem you have learned how to find pairs how to do triplet so triplet will nothing be it will be o of n square solution what you what we were doing in arrays in arrays what was the code in array in array concept for this question what was the code find triplets we used to first what we used to first sort the array so if a given array was a and n we used to sort the array then we used to take three variables i j and k and we used to say for i equal to 0 i less than n plus plus i and then here again we used to apply two pointer approach we used to say j is equal to i plus 1 k is equal to n minus 1 while j less than k and we used to say what if a of i plus a of j plus a of k is equal to x then we will do what we will increase the count we will do j plus plus k minus minus are we doing something wrong over here can you find some mistake over here in the above code is there some mistake tell me if there is a mistake actually some people might be thinking over here why are we moving the uh, front pointer again because here the question says distinct elements try to do this problem if the doubly linked list is sorted but it does not have distinct it can have duplicates also then tell me what will be the variation in this code so coming back to our problem this uh, count triplets one we were doing like this right otherwise we used to do either k minus minus if uh, a of i plus a of j plus a of k is is greater than x otherwise we used to do j plus plus so we used to fix one variable i and we used to have two pointer approach on that fixed variable we used to fix a variable i and do two pointer technique can you do the same thing for this problem count triplets in a doubly sorted linked list you will have to do the same thing so what will be the additional part in to this problem again you will need front pointer and back pointer but over here one more thing you will need is you will need another node because you need three pointers right because you have to find triplet so another node will be head and you will say while while current not equal to null so all the above code all the above code will be inside another while loop and over here front pointer will be currents next and back pointer will be uh, and back pointer every time should be equal to the last node so we will need another pointer say last so another pointer which is last and last is back and we should not change this see in every iteration we have to reset back pointer as the last pointer the last i mean pointer to the last node so that is why this is there okay and then apply this and over here what will you add over here you will add current data also 
Similarly, over here also, you will add current data. So this has now become a question on three pointer, that's all. So one pointer is fixed. This is like a reference pointer, this current pointer and front and back pointer will keep doing the two pointer approach. So those problems that we had already done in arrays will be again helpful in these kind of things. So please keep those concepts in mind. Two pointer technique is very important, very famous, highly used. So please remember that, okay? Thank you all for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe. I'm again telling because it will really help me. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. Take care. Stay safe. Stay tuned. Bye.